again the face-off to the right of Ken McGinnis. The Grand Falls, two men down. From the face-off, Sparrow lets it go to Woodford. He gets it in the corner, lets it come back to Farty. He shoots, and it's deflected inside. Sparrow couldn't get a shot away, flips it in front again to Woodford, and again, he can't get a stick on it. It's Farty letting it go to Woodford in the corner. He skates it around the net. Thomas beats him to it, and clears it to center ice with Bill Gillis back for it. Well, we took our hockey extremely seriously in those days. Well, we do today. They still pretty well fill the stadium. Well, this is a crowd down at the railway station to welcome home the Caps from a road trip. That was Toe Byrne just walked by there. Very quickly, well-known sports character here in uh, St. John's. Yet every time I see something like this, and I've seen five or six or seven of them, it never ceases to amaze me people's interest in the sport in those days uh, would take them down to meet a train coming home and would result in a parade. Of course, hockey now is much more a participatory sport as opposed to a spectator sport because there are so many rec leagues and things like that. Welcome home, Caps champs. Well, we're going to go to another year altogether now. Love looking at those old cars. We're going to go to another year altogether and uh, have a look at the Caps, who were not champs in this particular year. We're going to have a look at, uh, a quick look, at some footage from the early 70s from Corner Brook, as you can see by the clock. And uh, what's really interesting about this, Corner Brook won the game, by the way. It's not even close. I'll tell you the final score now. I think it was 7-1. to one. But uh, there they are, the usual spirit of friendliness that always exists in sporting events <laughs> between the cities <laughs> of Corner Brook and St. John's. That didn't seem like such a big uh, racket. Times they are a change. Because getting active can reduce your risk of cancer, we're going to bust a move for breast health again with guest fitness host Elizabeth Manley. We'll be moving and grooving to raise funds for breast health in Newfoundland and Labrador. Register today at bustamove.ca. How do you guess things? I don't guess. I observe. And once I've observed, I deduce. You're a doctor, you understand? I'm not a doctor. Word.